Okay, well this is the 2022 Hyundai Staria Load, the long-awaited replacement to the much-loved but aging uh, Hyundai iLoad van. And uh, it comes in two specifications, just the conventional two-seat uh, solid-walled commercial van, or this one, which is the five-seat crew version. And um, it not only looks dramatically different to the last one, as you can see, it's also on a new platform, which for the first time, um, switches to front wheel drive whereas the iLoad had a rear wheel drive platform but this one is claimed by Hyundai to be about 70% stronger than the previous model and that's something you always want in a commercial vehicle let's have a look around it as I mentioned about the styling some people have called it a spaceship it's really got this very smooth very flowing style and uh, this one is fitted with uh, Hyundai accessory the uh, nudge bar at the front there's also a LED light bar there as well. So let's have a look around. You can see quite an extreme windscreen angle, 17 inch steel wheels, and uh, a lot of glass area on the side. A look inside. And it's a very, very modern, very open, airy sort of interior. It's very comfortable to sit in, very comfortable to drive, and uh, as I said, a lot of space and a lot of places to put things have a look in the back and there she is three seats and um, it's pretty good the way that they've used space in here too because which is quite unusual in uh, in a crew van is that they've actually got uh, door liners that can hold you know two bottles there and there's a big st storage bin alongside it quite often you get in crew vans and they just have a flat door so there's nowhere to store your drinks or put anything so that's that's a really good move and there's also this really big console here and it has uh, two USB ports at the back and uh, pop out a uh, cup or small bottle holders and down here is another storage shelf so that's really great for people sitting in the back seat and also you can see I'm pretty tall 188 centimeters tall and there's still plenty of uh, knee room for me with the driver's seat in my position so that's pretty good too if you've got some big crew members you need to fit in here another really good use of storage space it's under the seat if you have a look at here two really big storage areas under there as well so that's pretty pretty good use of space for a crew van a lot of thoughts gone into that as well and also this one's got the uh, bulkhead um, separating the uh, cabin from the load area and with that you can see there's another really big storage area behind the seat as well so a lot of storage space for the crew so you can see really big glass areas on the side the top of the door when you're sitting in it is really low and it really has this sort of open airy kind of feel when you're inside which is which is really nice and you can see big glass area at the back as well and if we open this tailgate have a look inside that's a pretty large storage storage area you're probably looking at about 2.8 2.9 cubic meters of load volume so um that's a massive amount of storage space uh, and you can see there's um, a number of different load anchorage points on the floor tough vinyl floor and there's even a, uh, a little uh, hammer there in case uh, someone gets stuck in the back they can smash the window to get out so um looks like they've thought of thought of everything so looks good and uh and it's a genuine one tonner too uh payload is 1072 kilograms i think so easily over a ton and it's also rated to tow up to 2.5 tons of brake trailer now that's a one ton increase on the ILO which was 1500 however um i noticed the tow ball download is only 100 kilograms now Given that when you're towing uh, a trailer, we generally calculate about 10% of trailer weight on the tow ball, which in this case, if you're towing two and a half tonne, that would be 250 kilograms. But so uh, its tow ball download limit is only 100 kilograms. So that might present a bit of a challenge if you're trying to do that. Hopefully that uh, tow ball download will increase over time. And equally, I should say, uh, certainly anecdotally, I see that most van owners generally don't tow trailers and if they do they're usually not particularly heavy so for a lot of potential buyers that wouldn't be 
too much of a problem. So there it is. It's uh, certainly got striking looks. Some people like it, some don't, but there's no doubt about it. It makes a statement. It really is uh, eye-catching and perhaps um, a look to the future of Hyundai van design. Well, there we go. We've had a look at the outside and a little bit of the inside. Let's see what it drives like. Okay, underway in the Staria crew, and uh, this comes with only one engine, and that's a 2.2 litre four-cylinder turbo diesel. It's got 130 kilowatts of power and 430 newton metres of torque. So that's uh, slightly more power, but slightly less torque than the uh, 2.5 litre unit in the iLoad. Uh, so you're really splitting hairs there and um, it also has uh, an 8 speed torque converter automatic transmission so that's three more gears than the old 5 speeder in the iLoad and uh, it's also got the option of manual sequential shifting and it's also got four different drive modes which you can control by uh, a switch on the dashboard here and like all uh, these modern automatic transmissions, close ratio, it just shifts really smoothly, very sweetly. Gets the best out of the engine if you leave it in full auto mode most of the time. And uh, from a driving perspective, it is very, very car-like. I mean, given the fact that, uh, that this new platform is also shared with the latest Hyundai Santa Fe SUV, you'd expect it to be car-like to drive, and it certainly is. I mean, it's, you know, you're sitting in this quite commanding driving position. The dashboard looks like it's miles out in front of you, and that's always reassuring for me in, a, in what used to be forward control vans, because that means you've got much more crumple area to protect you in the event of a, of a heavy crash. So that's always a good thing. But, you know, in terms of the interior, it's just very airy, very open, very comfortable. Let's say the tops of the doors are down low and everything's, you know, very easy to see because there's a lot of glass area. And beyond that, it's uh, very, very easy to drive. I mean, the steering, you can see, it's just very light, but it's, uh, it's also responsive. Um, the braking's very good. Uh, the overall handling, the ride quality is excellent, it's very quiet. So um, from that perspective it's very easy to drive and very unlike commercial vans of the past. And I should also point out that it's uh, got excellent safety uh, and uh, that includes you know, a number of cameras and sensors around the car covering all angles so it is effectively free of blind spots which is you know, quite often a problem in commercial vans but um, with the amount of technical coverage this vehicle offers it really does in effect remove all blind spots which is great so the verdict well I must say this is a pretty difficult to fault its uh, design its ease of use its economy its, its use of space its performance it's all very very good and uh, I would have to say Hyundai have done a very good job in the design and development of this vehicle. It's also price competitive with the uh, leader of the mid-size van segment, the uh, Toyota Hi-Ace in five seat specification. And this has longer service intervals as well. So if you're looking for a mid-size van in five seat crew specification, I would have to say, certainly from my experience, 
that Hyundai engineers have done a very good job with this and it's uh, a worthy successor to the much-loved iLoad van.